Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Sorry for the wait. Um, I got kind of distracted before the stream started. Um, so, like, me getting my drink and getting the bathroom took a little longer than I thought because uh, I got a little distracted. Um, but I am here now. So yeah, we have a little bit of a change of plans. Um, my um, my, my ch I was going to stream Netrunner today, but I decided against it because with uh, Regulation D on the way, I'm getting back into Pokemon. So I'm gonna be getting back into competitive Pokemon with Regulation D on the way, but that won't start until July, but I do need to start team building if you're crafting for it now because it's June. So it's a month away. So I need to start thinking about team building. Uh, on the screen now is every home transferable Pokemon uh, from like Arceus and from Sword and Shield that will be legal under Regulation B. It's actually a much smaller list than I expected. Like, it's like... Charizard, the Ty, uh, the Typhlosion line, the Galar birds, uh, plus Articuno ran, uh, randomly, Articuno, uh, the the Kanto birds, the Galar uh, form birds, um. Uh, the Hisui Pokemon, um, some pseudo legendaries like Heatran, um, the Genies, a bunch of uh, restricted Pokemon we can't use right now. But the interesting thing is like. The Reggies are going to be, uh, the Reggie Lucky and Reggie Drago are going to be legal, which is frightening, especially Reggie Lucky. Oh, and Urshifu. Um, and like the Galar starters are here too. Um, which, uh, the one that's mostly matters there is Roll Boom. But, yeah, Rilla is interesting because it won't have Grassy Glide anymore. Um, but yeah, the big things are the Hisui Pokemon, um, Reggie Lucky, maybe Urshifu, um, the Galar birds might see some use, um, and the other big one is the Genies, um, especially since the Genies have, a, like, a new move that they get if they are their incarnate forms, um, so that'll be interesting. Um, but it was a much smaller list than I thought. Like, like because you know me, I like rain teams. Um, so we don't get access to Politoe yet. We don't get access to to any better Swift Swimmers. We're still, if you want to use Swift Swim, we're stuck with the bad ones in Valdea, like Barrascuta and Dreadnaw. Um, so we're still stuck with the Swift Swim, but if we want like a Rain Sweeper that's not a Swift Swimmer, we do get one piece of Copium. We do get one very small piece of Copium for Rain. Um, however, there's another piece of Copium in that these guys can interact with rain now because of the new storm moves. Um, so we're going to theory craft the rain team under the new regulation. 
and see what we can come up with. I haven't played Scarlet Violet BGC since, probably since like the start of series two, when paradoxes became legal. Yeah, I started, uh, I haven't played since Regulation B when, uh, when um, paradoxes became legal. Um, I fell off when Ruined Pokemon became legal. Because I just felt like I couldn't really compete. Because I was really struggling against Ruined Pokemon. Um, but we're going to actually come back in 13 building. So, let's get on the showdown. Um, make sure everybody, yeah, my Ivy Lobes are good. So we're gonna go into Team Builder and just do some stuff. Um, they don't have Regulation D on, coded in because it doesn't start until July. So we'll just have to do this under double zoopers. Um, just to make sure we have all access to everything. First things first, the unfortunate thing with Regulation D is we're still stuck with Pelipper. Uh, still no Politoed for us. Um, I'll go Damp Rock, mostly because I'm not sure what items will be open by the time uh, we're done. We might come back and make this a citrus berry or uh, or some other item, um, depending on what's available. Drizzle, and then we'll go. We have to do hydro pump because uh, we lost scald. Um, we have to. Oh, uh, then we go tailwind, of course. Uh, here's the thing that really sucks about us being stuck with Pelipper. It would have been so cool if we got access to Politoed. Because if we had got access to Politoed, we could play Tornadus for Tailwind. And that would have been really cool because we could have, we could have went like... Something like... Tornadus Incarnate and went something like... Life Orb, Prankster, Tailwind, Bleak Windstorm, um, Air Slash for flinching and like taunt. And we would just go max special attack to take advantage of uh, Bleak Windstorm. Max out the speed. to make these level 15. Be like 4 HP and be like uh, modest. We could have done something like this, but sadly we cannot do this yet because no Politoed. Um,
so we are stuck with uh, we're stuck with the duck, unfortunately. Um, um, so hydro pump, tailwind, hurricane. But it does mean we do have white guard, which is important to capture the storms. Um, if we wanted to, like thunderous, because thunderous has a storm too, and it's nasty. And so does Landorus if we see Landorus Eye. Um, because each of them have one of those spread storm moves that uh, that has sure hit accuracy in, ra in, in rain. Um, um, and for Pelper we just max special attack, we go max speed, and we put 4 HP. And we give this modest. Just to get as much out of Hydro Pump and White Guard as we can. And uh, Water Terror type is probably fine. Um, now, here's our piece of copium that we were getting in Regulation D for Rain Sweeper. Yes, the current swim, Swift Swim users suck. But, who needs Swift Swim when we have a Choice Guard? Um, because we got a really good Choice Guard Fuser in Samurot, Hisui and Samurot, who is a really good user of Scarf. Um, we want Sharpness. We want to take advantage of Sharpness, so we want, we sure want Ceaseless Edge, for sure. It's a signature move. We can set spikes on the opposing side, which is kind of a nice upside to already good uh, attack power move. Um, because because uh, Ceaseless Edge gets the bonus, because it's a cutting move, Ceaseless Edge gets the bonus from Sharpness. Um, and we also want a water move, that, a cutting type water move, which we want Razor Shell. Where's Razor Shell? And then we want... a coverage option. I think our best coverage option is Sacred Sword, which I, I'm not sure if it gets a bonus from sharpness but maybe it does and and then we can go I kind of like running aqua jet in the last swap for priority for the few things that that do outspeed us even with choice car so uh, with max speed oh god I changed myself to level 50 With 252 EVs in speed, uh, we're at 137 speed before our Choice Scarf. I believe with Choice Scarf, this puts us up to 203 speed snap. If I'm not mistaken. Let me just put this in the calculator to just double check this. Um, oh, it puts us to 205 speed stat. Which is uh, pretty good, actually. Um, this is good. Uh, because that means that we outspeed Flutter Main.
We, we do outspeed Fluttermain, assuming that they are not timid. If they're timid, they force the speed tie. Um, and they will outspeed us regardless of their scarf, but... Uh, Flutter... From what I've seen, Fluttermains usually don't have scarf, right? Let me check Pikaletics. How often do photorines take scars? Uh, yeah, they are specs or booster energy, like 42999 choice specs, booster energy, 41.487, sash, life orb, and other is like 9% or less. They, they usually don't think about scars. Um, so, unless they're timid nature, we outspeed them. If they're timid, they force the speed tie, however, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But if they're if they're modest, if they're trying to push as much damage as we can, we do outspeed them, which means we can we can probably KO them with Ceaseless Edge. And then like four HP. So let's see if we oh if that is true. Let's see let's enter our attack EVs. Uh Fluttermine spec set. Yeah, because they take monsters most of the time, so a timid nature would be kind of weird. Um, so let's do Ceaseless Edge here. Okay, so we do enough damage that it is a, uh, we have a, a fairly high chance to K, uh, to Oko. It is still a bit of a roll, but it's only a roll of like, of like 6-7% of the time that we don't Oko. Um, I, I get, uh, we're gonna have a dark terror type though. So we could, we could, we could Terra to guarantee it. So but maybe it's not super worth it. It is a roll, but we st we still Oko it most of the time, even without Terra. And we get to set up spikes at the same time, which is kind of nice. It's a nice bonus. Um... I am pretty sure we all... <sighs> I didn't mean to delete that. 
not to delete the flutter main. Um, let's go to flutter main, delete. You fix this up. This is a Azer shell, Aqua Jet, in case we run into something that outspeeds us, and we run Sacred Swords for coverage. Um, Max speed, max attack, 4 HP, adamant. Um, I, I want to check Chi Yu. Do we outspeed Chi Yu? Scale full down to fifty. Yeah, one hundred fifty-two speed with max investment. Um, let's try a, a boosting major. Oh yeah, even if they're timid, we outspeed them. For sure, we can just KO them with a uh, razor shell. Um, they would need a scarf. That would speed us. Um, Again, if we look at Picolytics. The, the issue is that uh, Chi Yu sees more Scarf use than, than Fluttermane does. Um, Although Sash is also popular, Life Orb is also fairly popular. And it also can run specs and safety goggles. Um, it just, it, it, it is scarfed a little more often than, than Fluttermean is. So there is, we st so she was a little more risky because she uses scarf more often. Um, and it does, does outspeed us if it scarves, but it has to have a scarf. Um, um, But let's assume, assume we do out, uh, let's assume they do outspeed us, they have a choice scarf. Let's assume they have a choice scarf. I'm not even sure if Peat Wave will kill us. If over, even Overheat would kill us through rain, right? We need to go max special attack. Okay. We just change this to Chi Yu. Uh, scarf set.
So in rain, with rain active, it's a roll to two hit KO us. However, there is one issue. They do sometimes run Terra Blast. So Chiyu tries to surprise us with a, a weird Terra type, like say something we're weak to, like fighting, because we're dark. And they terrestrialize, and they Terra Blast us. They can Oko us if they if they have a weird Terra type, which is a problem. But they have, but it forces the Terra. Like in order for them to use Chi to get rid to get rid of Samra, they have to Terra, and they have to have a weird Terra type. They have to be either fighting or electric, or something else that hits dark or water, like grass maybe, like fighting or electric or grass or some coverage Terra type of Terra class. Um. But the main reason we have Terra Dark as our as our Terra type is to give Ceaseless Edge a bit of more power to to KO some certain things with Ceaseless Edge. Uh, to give more KO reach with Ceaseless Edge. But another reason we have Terra Dark is it's a defensive Terra against Regieleki. I think if we Terra Dark we can avoid getting killed by Regieleki. Granted, we'll also, we're also going to have Raichu to protect us from Lucky. But let's say we, we didn't take Raichu or Raichu got KO'd at some point. Um, so we need to consider Terror Dark King to protect us from Lucky. Well, it's, uh, I rem from what I remember, Reggie Luckies usually took a support item, so they usually took like a light clay, because they they didn't run much in the way of attacks. They didn't go whole hog a lot of the time. They just usually went like Volt Switch, Electroweb, um, Light Screen. I think they would be more worried about Light Screen to reflect due to the threats in the meta, um, and then they could just they could just run Terra Blast. And I believe the popular Terra type for them is going to end up being Ice. Uh, to hit ground types like Galandarus, mostly. It also hits Tinglu. Um, but our main concern is Volt Switch and Electro Rep.
Let's reopen the damage calculator. Because our Regilucky would probably be max speed, max, uh, max special attack and match HP. And like more HP. And probably has way too much speed to need 10 minutes. It will always be modest. Um, Switch Electro Web Rain would be active. If our terror type is dark and we terra. Um, a bolt switch goes from a, uh, a, uh, one hit KO to a two hit KO. Let's un -terra for a minute and pick a watch web. Electroweb goes from taking most of our health to to uh, being roughly like half to roughly um. And then Electroweb would go from uh, taking more than half of our health to to being like 30%. So the Terror Dark um, like defensive play against Regilecki seems quite good actually. And in return, because they can't kill us anymore, can we kill them? With like just Ceaseless Edge? Or how much is Ceaseless Edge doing? Doing with Terra Stab, a Terra Boosted Stab against Reggie Lecky. Put on my Adam in Nature. As we are one hit KOing with a uh, uh, Terra Dark Seas with Edge in response. So, it seems like the Terra Dark play is actually a good Regilecki counter, actually. In addition to Raichu. So, being able to Terra Dark or Samurott can remove Regilecki. Probably. Because even doing neutral damage, even at Terra Ices, we can still kill him with just neutral damage. and set up spikes in the process. Um,
So yeah, that's Samurai. That's the reasoning for the Terra Dark and the reasoning for the moves that I'm taking. Peaceful damage is just really good uh, neutral damage. I'm going to be lucky after we Terra Dark to the Vibrid, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, if they go Electrolab, thinking they're going to take half my health, um, I can, I can go, haha, I'm going to Terra, Terra Dark and take scratch damage and I'm going to kill you. Um, um, And the reason for uh, razor shells are better water stab with sharpness. But the reason we ter we're taking Aqua Jet is because Aqua Jet allows us to beat Chiyu's that have Choice Scarf. It's our best, uh, we need Aqua Jet specifically in the, as a contingency plan against uh, Choice Scarf Chiyu. It can also be useful against like timid flutter mains that are forcing a speed tie. Although it won't be in a, a one hit KO like Ceaseless Edge would be. But it seems like a good rain sweeper. Just having a choice scarf, Hisui and Samrat seems a better option than having to cope on Barrescued or Dreadnought. At least until we get better Swift Swimmers. Like, ho I'm really hoping when Teal Mask comes out, I will be searching the water everywhere for a horsey. I will be looking up and down for Polywagon Horsey. Because I would love to have Kingdra again. Um, um, I mean, hell, I'll take a Motad. I will gladly take a Ludicolo at the very least. <laughs> um, um, but for now, Hisui and Samurai seems like a good pick, honestly. It's actually surprisingly good. Just from my Fury Crafting here. I won't be able to actually test until July, but... Um... Anyway. Uh, moving on. We need... We need... I think in a Regilecki Thunderous meta, Raichu is non-negotiable. We have to have Raichu. There is no avoiding it. We need Lightning Rod. However, I've been toying with, toying with the idea, maybe we don't need Spoke Sash. I actually want to run on Raichu. I, I want to run Covert Cloak. Now the reasoning behind Covert Cloak is for fake out reasons. Um, with Covert Cloak, I can I I can avoid getting my fake out faked out. Like if they have like a Grim Snarl and they fake out me to prevent me from faking out their like threat, like to protect their Trick Room setter or to protect because Trick Room is gonna be more of a thing now because of Versa Luna. Um, Um, so, so I want to make sure I have Covert Cloak to dodge fake out. It all, Covert Cloak also helps against other stuff too. Um, it allows me to dodge secondary effects, but the big one is fake out. There are some other niche secondary effects I also want to avoid um, with Raichu. It means my, my Raichu is a little more vulnerable to being Oko with no uh, Poké Sash, but 
there was another Pokemon that we need the Focus Ash for. Uh, that I am thinking of. So I'm actually going to try Covert Cloak right you. Just for fake out reasons, there's got to be a lot more fake out around. Like, Roll Boom is legal now, so we're going to probably have to see that around. We don't have to deal with Ensign quite yet, but but Roll Boom, I, I think even without Grassy Glide, Roll Boom is going to see play as a fake out, as like, he's a good fake out user, and he's like a good bulky fake out user. Um, and I think Grimmsnarl might see a resurgence. Um, because there's no Ensign yet. And so I think, like, Covert Cloak Raichu might be a good way of still being able to disrupt things. And the thing is, I don't mind not having Focus Ash on Raichu, because Raichu's role is not... Uh, I'm not going to have Raichu in the active slot as much as I did in the past. It's more going to just be, I need to pivot to this to avoid dying to Regieleki, right? It's, it's there to protect me against Thunderous' Storm, and to protect me from... Uh, from Reggie Lucky, especially to uh, especially to blank Electro Lab so my speed doesn't get lowered. Yeah, that's the key thing about this Raichu pivot. I don't really care. I get O code. I care about blanking Electro Lab. So we go fake out Volt Switch for pivot reasons. Uh, we do take out Volt Switch. We probably want Helping Hand. Uh, we de actually, without Focus Hatch, we definitely need Protect. Um... I actually kind of want to run H H over 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 a novel because the uh, the next Pokemon on my ideal list is something that conflicts with novel. So uh, we go max speed. Ah, fuck it. I think Nuzzle's still better. Max speed, max special attack for Volt Switch, and we just go for HP. And we go Timid. So, after Raichu, because this is the reason we're not giving Focus Ash to Raichu, because we need it for Breloom. Say hello to our answer to Tinglu. Now, back in early Scarlet Violet BGC, I used Berloom as an a load, specifically loaded dice Berloom as an answer to Don Dozo. However, I feel because of the power creep of paradoxes and fucking, fucking the ruins, um, we can't play round with loaded dice anymore. It's just not feasible. We need Sash to keep Verloom alive long enough because of its middling speed tier, because of its fairly. It's fairly, you know, kind of middle of the road speed of 70. We need, we, we probably need a Poké Sash to guarantee that we can come, we, we can pop off with Breloom. Um, against the things that we need to pop, pop off against. Uh, mo, most, which is, Don Dozo is still kind of around, and the big one is Tinglu. This is our only real answer to Tinglu. 
So we go, for moves we just go, of course we go bullet seed. Now without limited dice there's a chance we could roll a more bullet seed which will suck but I think it's a gamble we have to take. Um, of course we run spore, um, mock, and protect. I'm not bothering with Rock Tomb, I just think it's kind of too risky. That's why I'm going with Protect instead. Max Attack, Max Speed. I forgot to set these back to 50. Or that book, right? So if we go to Berlum really fast. Um, the only thing different here is we're just changing out Rock Tomb for Protect to preserve our sash. Um, because I just think Rock Tomb's a bit too risky in this meta. Um, And I'm, I'm running Adamant over Jolly just to get as much damage out of Bolt Seed as I can without, without, uh, without, what's we call it, without Loaded Dice. Um, and uh, the big one we gotta test it is I know I do well against Sandozo, so I'm gonna do Tinglu. Just assume it's the Salt Vest that. We're gonna assume the uh, the defense spread on on Tingle is the standard sixty eight twenty eight, which seems to be the top result on Picolytics currently. Um, So Berlum with bolt, bolt Seed, if we Terra against Tinglu, if we get free hits, um, we are, we have a 93.8% roll to, to, to Oko Tinglu, Tinglu outright. However, if we miss and we get a lower result, it gets worse. Uh, we we two hit KO. We we do miss the KO if we if we only get two. So it's a bit of a risk. But if we get four or higher, it's guaranteed to be an Oko though. So it is a bit of a gamble. And, but with Focus Sash, we have a pretty good shot of removing Tinglu. And again, in other matchups, uh, Berlum is helpful because we can spore stuff. And we can use Bolt C to kill other stuff. Um, 
But the uh, but the uh, Reloom is also just useful for utility because we can spore stuff. We can just start we can just start putting shit to sleep. Um. And, and the focus sash allows us to stay alive long enough to either to either remove a Tinglu or remove a Dondozo or start just putting shit to sleep. Um. But what to do with the other two slots? We don't have a life orb user yet, and we don't have like. I feel like because we have a physical attacker, we don't have a really good special attacker yet, right? But who's the special attacker that really works with rain, like? I don't think Chiyu will work on this team because the problem with Chiyu is that it does fire and it's going to get weakened by the rain. Um, so I think for like a special attacker, I kind of want like... Call me crazy. This might be like completely unfiltered cope. But Where is it? Where's the one I'm thinking of for a, a special attacker that I was thinking of? I'm trying to remember its name. You know what we could do is we could we could just play Blood or Main ourselves. So we could just do Blood or Main for our uh, for our special attacker. I kind of like booster energy because I'm Rain, so I won't have. Oh, I just got a really devious idea. Hold up. Now, I might be coping. We, we play Landorus Incarnate. With Life Orb. With Sheer Force. And we run, we run his, his Storm. Where is it? Sandseer Storm.
What's sick about Sand Steer Storm is this has perfect accuracy in rain. It's a ground type special attack. It's a spread move. And it's a 20% chance to burn. What if Scald, but ground type and spread move? It's like Scald never left. <laughs> This is great, because the ground coverage gives us a couple things. Oh my god, we could kill Reggie Lecky with this. Because if I remember correctly, why don't I have some bulk, right? And because I'm ground, because of the ground typing, Reggie Lecky can't touch us with like a bolt switch. We we do have to worry about the Terra Ice though. That's a big that's a big issue. Is we still have to worry about the Terra Ice, but we have like counterplay to that with the rest of our Pokemon. Like, if it Terra Ice, Samurott just kills it, right? <laughs> um, but Sansir Storm seems like a good option for dealing with other threats. And, like, even just neutral, this 20% chance to burn could, like, completely cripple something like a Tenglu or something like a, uh, um, a, what's it called? A, a, a Urshifu, even. Yeah, it'd be annoying for Rollaboom as well. So, we go Sans Your Storm. We probably want a Flying Stab. Like, uh, like Air Splash. Do we get access to Air Slash? We know we do not. Um, Problem is we don't get that many special attacks other than Sansier Storm. Um, I mean, we do have Earth Power, so we can go Earth Power, Sand Seer Storm. Then, like, Protect? That's really... and, like, Sludge Bomb. For coverage. Maybe instead of protect, we run taunt. That seems useful. We actually have a fair amount of HP in defense, so we can just go max special attack. Max out our speed and then put a little extra in HP. Well, well we're worried about Reggie Lucky's so, eyes, so we should probably go with special defense. And we go, like, modest. Maybe instead of Earth Power, we go Protect. We just rely on Sand Steer Storm. We go Protect, Sand Steer Storm, Taunt, and Sludge Bomb. I actually like that a lot. This seems really good. Uh, this will at least be good until we can get rid of Pelper. Once we get Politoed, we can trade this to Tornadus. I think. Um. But 
But for now, this seems to be decent. And then, uh, to round out our team... I kind of want some, like, dragon coverage, or maybe a fairy. Actually, I kind of want to try Tinkaton in this environment, because this might be the first, this might be the first time that Tinkaton is like viable. And plus I, I have rain to protect it from fire. So I actually want to try because I, I don't think I have an assault vest user, do I? Yeah, we need an assault vest user. I think Tinkaton fits the bill. For assault vest. Mold breaker. And we just go gigaton. We can go gigaton fake out. Encore? It gets us an Encore user. Oh, but that way we can't use Assault Vest. That's fine. I think we can just run like a Citrus Berry. So we can run some support moves. Like Encore and... This thing gets fake tears. So I think we run a set on Tinkaton that's like Gigaton Hammer, Fake Out, Encore, Fake Tears. I kind of want to run a Fairy Stab though, is the thing. I don't think we need fake tears that badly. We have a way of burning stuff with Relanderous. We can just go like a fairy move in this slot. Um, we can just go play rough. Encore is just helpful for beating Trick Room. Um, It just gives, uh, I think Tinkaton is mostly good because it gives us something for the Trick Room matchup with Encore. Uh, at least until we get access to Politoed, who also gets Encore. We have to max our attack set. We gotta get Gigaton Hammer and Player off to hit as hard as possible, and the Sphinx attack is not high. Um. The uh, mostly it was given a low attack to compensate for 
the the base power of Gigaton Hammer. I kind of want to just give this thing a ton of bulk to uh, make use of the citrus berry. So 252 attack, and then we can put the last four points into like the fence. I kind of want to just make this thing bulky to make use of the citrus berry. We go out of it for sure. I think I like this team. Like, Tank a ton's a bit suspect, but. The rest of it is really good. I just uh, I'm not just I'm not like a hundred percent sold on Tinkaton yet, but but Tinkaton was just what first came to my mind for like an encore user, right? To help beat Trick Room because Trick Room is gonna be way more prevalent now because of Versa Luna, um, and plus everybody's going to want like. Uh, or a lot of people are probably going to be experimenting more with Trick Room because Trick Room beats Reggie Alecki. Um, and uh, uh, Trick Room is always kind of a pain for rain teams. Um, and currently we don't have access to the rain setter that has Encore. So... I think this is like decent for now. I might I might replace Tinkaton with something else, I'm not sure. Like maybe like a more pure support um, might be a better option, like something like an Umbreon or something like uh like even like Arcanine, even if I'm under rain, like I'm I'm not using a fire move of Arcanine most of the time. I'm just gnarling and intimidating stuff. Um, so, I might replace Tinkaton with Arcanine eventually, but I'm not sure. Um, but, I mean, this, the rest of the team seems really solid, though. I'll have to see how things go in July. Um... Um, but I think that's gonna be it for me for today. I can't really test this until July anyway because I don't have anyone to play against. Uh, so I'm just going to save my team. Uh, and I'll be here for when the when I can change the the uh, format. But um, I was gonna play like a variety game, but I kind of have to go because I have stuff to do today. Um, so we'll be back with Super Robot Wars tomorrow. Kind of a short stream, but there was a lot of fury and talking involved, a lot of me running calcs. So, um, so, so I, I think I, I'm good ending it here at like an hour 30. So, I, I just have some chores to do today, unfortunately. So, I will, I will end things here. We'll, we'll be back for Super Robot Wars tomorrow. And I'll see you guys then. Take care.